Hey guys, welcome back to Magic and Missiles. This is episode 7, and we're going to get started today with uh, setting up a quarry out in our desert. Um, before we do that, though, I wanted to show you over here where uh, I believe it was in episode 2 or 3, we set up our turtle and uh, had him start excavating an area. And I just I finished it off with a, the quarry that I made in the last episode. And as you can see, it's gone all the way down to bedrock and uh, just did a great job. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that now and uh, take it out to the desert and set it up. Uh, there's just uh, one more thing I need before we do that is some landmarks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a 64 by 64 quarry out there. Why not, you know? So we need three of these. Three of these. And let's, oops. Go ahead and make up some redstone torches and some landmarks. And uh, another thing I wanted to show you real quick is uh, I have uh, done a little bit of upgrading to my power system. I should have probably done this on camera, but. Uh, I was kind of experimenting at the time because I have, haven't used this before, but what we have here is um, a puddle of water, and coming out of that we have an electric pump uh, feeding water into the electrolytic separator, and you can see here that we are dumping oxygen into the air. Um, our hydrogen is full right at the moment, and our output is hydrogen, and we have that going into a hydrogen generator and um, which is putting out 240 volts so uh, it, it is an upgrade to what we had going on and uh, it's so basically we've got uh, the two solars upstairs uh, these four heat generators and that hydrogen generator right at the moment um, but since we're going out to the desert to set up this quarry we're gonna take those solar generators with us now, something else that I was experiment, experimenting with was the solar stuff, and I found that not all the recipes are showing up in my uh, NEI, and so I got onto the wiki and found out that I could make vo uh, solar arrays, like so. And so, with the eight that I had uh, made in the last episode, or two episodes ago, whenever it was, um, I was able to make these two solar arrays, but we're going to take these with us and uh, head on out to the desert. All right, and uh, see if there's anything along the way that we might need. Uh, some pigs and sheep, yeah. I think we're good on all that stuff. I really need to do something to fill that in. Uh, I'm gonna gather up all these pigs eventually once I find some carrots because I need a good source of food. The the uh, watermelon is really starting to give me a stomach ache. So let's see. I think uh, how about right here is a good place to start. As good a place as any, I think. Let's go ahead and throw a lever down there. And <clears throat> excuse me. Go ahead and pick up some of this sand so that I have something to build with. Another thing that I made myself was some backpacks because. Uh, my inventory was just filling up so fast so uh, we'll probably end up making some more of those later on in the playthrough uh, I'm assuming that you guys have seen those before so uh, that's why I didn't put it on camera let's go ahead and build on up here set down our landmark like so And this is going to be a lot of stuff. I mean, a 64 by 64 
Oh, I wonder if this oil is going to cause a problem. It might. But uh, 64 by 64 quarry is huge. But I'm hoping, quite honestly, this, this will be the last quarry I need for this playthrough. So let's go over here and get it started. It's just amazing how fast I go through the, the watermelon. It seems like any jumping at all and uh, I have to eat again. So let's go ahead and flip that off. Alright, we got that. So we'll take our quarry. Set it down. Like so. And it'll keep 25 chunks loaded. Okay, so that means it worked just fine. And we're going to take our solar array. Put one here. And... Oh, shoot. We'll just put one there. I know they don't need to be that far apart, but... We're going <laughs> to do it that way anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. And before we put any power to this, I wanted to show you one other thing. The uh, energy cube that we made earlier uh, holds two megajoules. I upgraded that to an elite energy cube, which holds 32 megajoules. And uh, I don't know how long this is actually going to last. And that's one of the main reasons why I brought the... Um, the solar arrays out here and it looks like we're just about out of daylight so guys I'm gonna head back and sleep so that I don't have to deal with uh, enemies and so forth and then I'll be right back okay it's morning time let's go ahead and finish setting this up real quick uh, we need uh, wooden pipe uh, before we need oh, had a big old lag spike right there before we do that we need an iron chest so we need an iron chest right here wooden pipe coming out of the side of that and more food more food oops darn lag Okay, uh, diamond pipe, and void pipe, do the same setup we had in the other place, and I think that's all we need, just a diamond chest now, like so. And then we need to, t well, I'm going to keep some sand, and that's a lot of sand, though. I want to keep some sand before we start filtering it out, uh, just so that we have it for later. But uh, let's go ahead and set up our redstone engines. Got one here, and we'll throw the other one on top here. Like, uh, like so. And throw our levers on there. Okay, I think we're good to go. So all we need to do now is uh, connect some power. And this thing should start running. And, yep, as you can see down there, you can see it already starting to draw it out. I'm curious to see how long this is actually going to last, the energy cube. I'm hoping that we'll at least get some some progress on the quarry before it runs out. And after you know, after it gets down so far, I, I really don't care how fast it runs. If uh, if I really get into a crunch for some diamonds or something like that, I'll just go do some mining myself. Looks like I lost my other landmarks, but that's okay. They're easy enough to make. 
and uh, oh, had another little lag spike there. My poor computer it just can't keep up sometimes. I love the sound of these solar arrays and, and actually all the mechanism stuff. I love the sounds that they have for it. It's just, uh, to me, it's just amazing. Okay, I should be just about finished. And there it goes. Check it out. Okay, there goes the sand. Sweet. Let's see how our cube's doing. Oh, look at that. It's barely... It's barely draining it, actually. So that's, that's actually very, very cool. Happy about that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run for just a little bit, and I'll be right back, guys. We had a little bit of a problem. A uh, creeper snuck up on me and blew me up, and stupid me, I had moved my bed. And so I am back at my spawn. <laughs> so it's going to take me a little bit to get back to uh, where we were. So I'm going to go ahead and record it in case something else happens to me along the way. But it'll definitely definitely be uh, edited, shortened somehow. Um, so here we go. I really don't even know how far away we are. So, But I do know, thank goodness to this map, that it's this way. <laughs> That's about all I know. So we're going to do our best to stay alive. Uh, the worst part about it is, is I was down in a mine, and I'm not even 100% sure where I was. So even once we get back over there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find my stuff in time to recover it. So we're just going to have to keep our fingers crossed, I guess. Um... Right at the moment, I'm not even seeing a waypoint. I do know that it was quite a ways away, but I'm not even seeing the waypoint as far as distance on my map. Um, I want to say that it was about 2,000 meters. So, <laughs> oh man, that's, that's a long way. So I'm going to go ahead and just shut up and uh, probably make me a boat <laughs> and try and find home. So uh, wish me luck, guys. Okay, we got the quarry going again. And it looks like we got a visual bug right there, but that's no big deal. We know better. But, alright, I found enough of, of the diamonds that I need in order to make the refinery. So we're going to need a pump, we're going to need an engine, we're going to need a refinery, and some tanks. Oh, and some, uh, ooh, some, um... Waterproof piping. I think we can... Yeah, I think we can do all that. Should be fairly simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and make a combustion engine. And the main reason for that is we can run it off of the oil that we're pumping. Um, we're going to need... Probably two pumps. So... Yeah, let's um, let's think here. We're gonna need two pumps. All right, guys, I'll be right back after I figure this out. 
Okay, guys, we're getting our stuff together to get this refinery made up. Um, I've already made up uh, a couple combustion engines, um, some wooden kinesis pipe. Uh, hopefully that's just <laughs> regular power pipe. Uh, wooden fluid pipe and some cobblestone fluid pipes. I made up a couple pumps and some tanks. And we're going to need uh, two... Let's see. Two more redstone engines and this refinery. And I believe that's gonna do it for us. At least I sure hope it will. So, um, let's see. I probably am gonna need one more wooden uh, waterproof pipe. But I am out of the... Um, cactus screen that I need but let's go ahead and finish making this refinery real quick go ahead and make iron and then gold need four gold and then oops and diamond need four diamond Okay, and then we need two redstone torches. So a couple pieces of redstone. So redstone torches. And I believe we have everything else. Yes, we do. So we have our refinery. Okay. So I'm going to make up a couple more redstone engines, and then we're going to go get this taken care of. Okay guys, we're back out here to the quarry and I'm not sure if you can <clears throat> see very easily, but you can see down here that the quarry will not quarry the area where the oil is. So I've got to get that moved uh, or pumped out of there or something. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the quarry again and uh, just let the uh, solar panels charge up that energy cube because it is now out of power. But let's see, get our pick. Okay, and not only that, our 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 um, chest here is getting full also, so we need to get that cleared out. But uh, we're gonna get this. Well, with the quarry turned off, this is going to be a little bit easier. I'm just going to build a platform right here. And I don't really know where the center is. It looks kind of like right over here. Like right there is kind of where it looks. So we're going to try and do this. Throw that there. And then we're going to slap down a pump. Like so. Yeah, you can see it going down. Okay, that's working. And then... Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to actually make this very... No. I want it on the outside of the quarry. So, how am I going to do this? Let's see. Let me get the that cobblestone back out. Hopefully I have enough pipe to do this. I should be able to run this straight out to the edge of the quarry. Like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to set up my tanks as one large tank. Okay, 
So 11 high. A cobblestone fluid pipe. And I think that's actually going to work. I hope so. Come on. I didn't see this oil to begin with in this area or else I wouldn't have set up the quarry here. Oh, I wonder if this oil is going to cause a problem. It might. If this works out, it'll be kind of sweet. Sure, that's connected. Yes. And then I think all we need to do is put some power right here. So let's start with just some redstone engines. Just, oh, ah, fell off. Sorry about that. Put one there, and one there, and I think if we put that like that, and then put a, a switch on the side, it'll power both of them. Yes, it will. Okay, so let's see if this is gonna work. And the anticipation need to replace the Ooh, there are some right there and it's going and it's going it's just really slow because that's cobblestone pipe come on yes <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this right here for the day, and I appreciate you watching, and, uh, you know, if you like the episode, I know it was very unorganized today, but if you like the episode, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that, and I will see you guys next time.